Hi friends, today I'm going to tell you a story about a man who despite a poor upbringing among 16 brothers and sisters managed to become a leading writer, a philosopher, scientist, inventor and so great statesman also. He was called the first American. He is also famous for his kite experiment. Can you guess who am I talking about? Yes, his name was Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin was born in 1706 in Boston when the United States of America didn't even exist. He had a large, loving but a poor family. He just had to leave school at the age of 10 after just studying for two years. But he never, never stopped learning on his own. He kept on working with his brother as a printer and picked up a hobby of writing his own thoughts. As a young man, he started his own newspaper and wrote a pamphlet called Poor Richard's Almanac. It was filled with facts and wise sayings like an apple a day keeps doctor away. You all must be knowing about this. You may not believe it, but he actually became a rich man because everyone loved his pamphlet and loved reading his books too. Ben Franklin was very interested in science and experiments. In the 1700s, small amounts of electricity were used only for fun and magic. No one could have even imagined about electric light yet. While chasing storms on his horseback, he found out how they moved. Franklin came upon an idea that the lightning may just be made of electricity. He decided to try it out himself with a kite. Since it could fly higher than a thundercloud than any building in his town in Philadelphia. So, the story goes as in the summer of 1752, Franklin and his son William flew a kite with a wet conducting string during a thunderstorm. The electric charge in the air charged the metal key that he tied at the end of the string of the kite. Franklin saw sparks jumping from the key to another conducting object proving that lightning was just a huge lot of electricity. He was even able to collect some of this charge in the Leyden jar, a special device made for storing electricity. The sparks Franklin felt were from electricity in the air and not from the lightning striking the kite. The lightning had struck the kite directly, Franklin would have almost died, but he did not. In fact, to avoid mishaps due to lightning bolts striking the building, he invented lightning rods. These attract the lightning towards themselves and then transfer it to the ground without hurting the building or the inmates in it. Ben Franklin also invented many more useful things like bifocal glasses and the Franklin stove. He invented swimming flippers too. As a science minded person with great social responsibility, he also helped set up the first fire department. He supported a free school for poor children and created the first lending library. And while he did all these things, 
he worked long and hard to help the United States of America become an independent nation. Do you see now that a scientific mind can make you true all-rounder and also help people around you? I hope you loved the story and now let's make a toy. Hi! So today's toy is about static electricity and we are going to do it with a balloon. So what's more fun than a balloon, right? You must all have been there with a balloon doing this with your hair. Have you done this before? And tried to stick it on a, on a wall? Yes, that's nothing but science. Today we are going to do a science experiment with these little piece of paper. So what you are going to do is just tear off some bits of paper and make them lie on the ground like this. You can charge your balloon with your hair. Can you see my hair? <laughs> Flying off or you can do it with a cloth. Let's try so I'm rubbing this balloon on a towel. Now all this balloon is negatively charged and these bits of paper have positive charge in them. Now let's see what happens. See? Can you see? The bits of paper are attracting towards the balloon. You can see that the negative and positive charges attract each other. You can do this experiment even with some straws or a comb if you have at home. Now, there's one more, a bit complicated experiment. We are very simple. You just need a jar, a transparent jar. It can be plastic or glass. Mine is glass. A conducting copper wire without insulation. And two chips of paper. And just a cardboard circle to put it on top. So you have to make a hole exactly at the center of the cardboard. Put the wire inside and hang in two chips of paper and put it inside the jar. Again, rubbing the balloon against the towel and let's see what happens to the two. Wow! Now they're going apart. See? The paper bits were attracting towards the balloon while the two paper bits in this experiment are going apart. So, this had negative charge which attracted the positive but the two paper bits have same charges on each other so they are repelling. This is static electricity. Now, if your experiment is not working, don't be sad. That's just because there is a lot of humidity in the air. Now, recently, at my place, it has just rained a day before. It's a lot of humidity in air right now. So, what I did was just put my experiment in sunlight, in a window or in your balcony. You can put it anywhere. And then, try it out. You can try it out in sun. When it gets completely dry, it will work, I'm sure. When you do it and when you like the experiment and the story, please like our channel Ayuka Saipop. Like, share and subscribe. Happy science, fun science.